welcome back to another video and uh, my first ride out on the road in about a week actually uh, I was forced to have a few days off earlier this week due to a bit of a stomach virus but I'm feeling much better now and uh, yeah what a day to get back out on the road beautiful almost like a spring day today I've got something a little bit different in mind today for my training ride uh, just while my body gets back to 100% really uh, I've got three or four hours to do but instead of heading out usually into the peak district gonna head into the city and take in some of the uh, sporting landmarks that Manchester has to offer something a bit different and uh, we're in lockdown so hopefully the roads will be pretty quiet first destination ticked off AJ Bell Stadium home of uh, the Sale Sharks rugby union team I believe so yeah first one done on to the next someone's turned the house upside down now i know the traffic center isn't really a sporting landmark but still riding around here when it's this quiet is actually pretty cool I'd say it'll be even cooler though, right around the inside. Can't imagine the marble floors would be too grippy though, to be fair. And that's where they make my mom's favourite soap opera. So Media City over there, that's where I'll be going for all the interviews when they see the vlog, you know, tell them how bad it is. Anyway, into the city now. Can anyone guess the next stop? Old Trafford Football Stadium. Next one, Old Trafford Cricket Ground. Another Old Trafford, this time the Cricket Ground. Bit of pitch action now. I'll go and have a look at a few cricket fans out there. I'll get a shot of the pitch. I'm, if I'm honest, I don't watch that much cricket myself, but a few cricket fans out there. There she is. Beautiful. Right, I've forgotten where I'm off to next now. I've got three of the landmarks checked off there. I'm um, probably going to miss a few along the way, so you're free to tell me the ones I do miss. Um, I might have to revisit them in the future. But uh, for now, I know we're heading into town, I've got the route plied so we shouldn't get too lost. But um, let's see where we get to next. This is what we like to see, some decent cycle paths. I know it's been a little while since I've been in the centre of Manchester, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't here when I was last here. About five new skyscrapers for you. Memories from my youth of being dragged down there by my parents. That's the only cobbled section I'm doing today. So we've arrived at the next destination. Manchester City's uh, Etihad Stadium. And the next one is just across the bridge over here. But before we do that, I'm gonna look 
for the Isle of Man on here. Yeah. I've seen it before, so I'm pretty sure it's there. Let's have a gander. Lisbon, Malta, it's got to have the Isle of Man. Oh, there we go, there she is. There we go, right there. Dude. Shout out to the Isle of Man. Right, time to head to the next one. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's definitely been some skidding going on here, look. So we've arrived at the next sporting destination, Asda and Decathlon. No, I'm just kidding, it's behind that. I've got to figure out how to get off this bridge now. And across to the velodrome. Not sure if this actually counts as an extra one. Pretty impressive anyway, Manchester City's academy ground, academy stadium. And of course the trip to Manchester's sporting landmarks would not be complete until we'd gone to the Manchester Velodrome. So that's the last one ticked off, Manchester Velodrome. Just on a lap the outside there, now I'm going to head back towards uh, Macclesfield and home. Got about two hours on the clock. And uh, yeah, quite enjoyed today's ride to be honest. So there we go, that's Manchester Velodrome done. Last one on the list for today. Bringing back some good memories of our youth there. We used to travel away and do races and training there. Uh, obviously not something I pursued later in my career. It wasn't really something I enjoyed that much to be honest. I preferred to get on the road, but um, yeah. Either way, really good memories. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna head back out of the city get back into the lanes and uh, round this ride up to about three and a half, four hours. While we're on the subject of landmarks, there's a proper landmark. McVitie's factory. Here's a debate for you. What's your favourite biscuit? I'm going to go for a digestive, chocolate digestive. Let me know yours in the comments below. So well out of the city now, back on the lovely country roads of Cheshire. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's ride with me. I certainly enjoyed bringing you along into the city. Something a little bit different for me, although I didn't really like the traffic lights that much. They were a little bit annoying. It was great to go and see some uh, iconic sporting stadiums and, uh, and venues. It was really quite motivating actually, just to, uh, to visit those little places. So, yeah, enjoyed bringing you guys along for a little tour of the uh, sporting landmarks in Manchester. But um, yeah, if I missed any, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, look forward to bringing you another video next week. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to the channel. But that's about all there is to report for this video, guys. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.